Welcome! This video will explain how to successfully install and maintain the neighborhood indexes modules for Rhizome. Links to any of the files or keys you may need will be provided on the video's description. The neighborhood indexes were developed directly with the current Rhizome architecture, which means it has no external modules that require separate installation, having been fully integrated with the master Rhizome repository and running in the live pr production server. This means that you may fully install the system by following the same steps as when installing Rhizome's desktop front-end and back-end, as well as some additional steps for external data that must be imported for the functionality of the neighborhood indexes. We will go over these steps in detail. For the front-end, you will need to have installed Git, Node.js, and Ruby. After doing so, open a terminal or command prompt and point it to the directory in which you desire to set up your Rhizome work folder. You must install Grunt and Bower globally using the command npm install -g grunt -cli and npm install -g bower. Wait for each command to finish before installing the SAS and Compass Ruby gems, which the commands gem install sas and gem install compass. You may need root permissions to run these. Now that you have the main software requirements, now you must clone the Rhizome desktop repository with git, using the command git clone and the URL for the git which you can acquire from the page in the download section for the repository's main page. Cloning the repository might require your credentials. After cloning, point your terminal to the Breeze desktop directory and start installing all the necessary dependencies for Breeze Home using the commands npm install and bower install. Allow them each to complete before proceeding. At some point during the bower install, you will be asked for which version of Angular you wish to install. Choose the latest version available. Finally, you must use the command grunt serve to start serving the front end. However, there is a file that must be created within the app directory that contains the addresses to the backend and other Rhizome servers. Please ask the Rhizome administration for this file. Without this file, you will still be able to serve the front end, but its functionality will be severely limited. You must also acquire an API key for the Google Maps API, which can be found on their developer website. Once you have a key, you must replace the key for the Google Geocode function within the details controller, details.js. For the backend, you must use Linux, as some of the dependencies don't function properly in Windows or Mac. For this guide, we are using an Ubuntu flavor called Ubuntu Budgie. But as long as basic dependencies are met, you shouldn't have any issues. First of all, you should install Python 3.5, pip3, PostgreSQL, and PostGIS. We recommend installing pgadmin so you may work with the database directly for debugging and other tasks. Make sure you finish setting up PostgreSQL with a user account and password as well as a new clean database to host the Rhizome backend before moving on. Along the way, there may be more dependencies to meet. Be sure to check the error messages, as they may be informative of the packages you, must, you may be missing. Assuming you have correctly installed each, you must clone the Git repository for the Rhizome backend, called Rhizome API Django, the same way you clone the frontend project. Once you have finished cloning the backend, open a terminal and point it to the Vris API Django directory. Once at the root of the project folder, you must use the command python3 -m -bnb -bnb to set up the virtual environment folder. Wait for the process to complete. Go to the folder vnb and the folder bean after it finishes and find the file called activate. 
Open it with your text editor of choice, so you may add information for your PostgreSQL details. To do so, find the line called Export Path and right under it, add the following lines with the port, database, user, password, and host information for your own PostgreSQL server. Save the file and return to the root of the project folder. Now you must run the command source bnv slash bin slash activate to activate the virtual environment. Now you must install the dependencies using the command p3 install dash r requirements.txt. Wait for it to download and install all the dependencies and once it is complete you might now use the command python3 manage.py migrate to initialize the breeze home database in your setup. Once complete using the command python3 manage.py run server should properly serve the breeze home backend and if everything is running just fine now it is time to import the NOAA data. For the first time you import data you must download the detailed CSV file from NOAA, starting from the year 1967 until the last year. Then you must merge these files into two files. The first called NOAA1.csv, which is a file from 1967 to 2006, and NOAA2.csv, which is a file from 2007 until the last year. We don't recommend merging the file for the current year as NOAA might not have finished compiling the weather information for it. And importing the same year to complete the missing records leads to duplicates. The, res the reason for two files is that the format for the dates changed after 2006. As such, we developed two importers. To merge the files, we recommend putting them in a folder with only the years you wish to merge and using the command cat asterisk dot csv greater than output dot csv which means you should have two folders with the year ranges for the two big files you will create. Be aware that the imports will take a long time the first time. Depending on your setup, each import may take up to an hour each. To start the imports, run the commands python3 import1.py and wait until completion. After it's done, run the command python3 import2.py and wait for the completion use the same. Do not interrupt any of the imports. If you interrupt them, you, may, you will have to purge the database and start over from the first importer, and, or you will have duplicate records. Once both importers are finished, you must once again perform python3 manage.py migrate and to verify that everything is working just fine, doing python3 manage.py run server will start the backend and then you should go to the URL slash NOAA for your backend to see the records that you have imported. Now for maintenance, you must import on a yearly basis the last year published by NOAA. To do so, you must use import2.py, open the script and replace the file path to the path to the, of the new year CSV that you wish to import. Please make sure to shut down the backend before doing so and following the same post import step of using the migrate command. In the future, if the SpotGrind API changes the key, for their public access, you will need to get a new one from the website and replace it within the get crime data function in the details controllers, details.js. If risk home grows enough, both the spot crime and Google Maps API might need to be upgraded for commercial use to lift limitations. Uh, that's it for how to install and maintain the neighborhood indexes in risk home. Thanks for watching.